Hurricanes are wild, destructive, powerful, unfathomable. They are an example of how ruthless our beautiful watery rock can be. But how do they form? All hurricanes start out as a tropical storm, then they feed off warm, humid air until they evolve into a giant, powerful storm. When warm air rises, it creates a negative pressure, causing cold air from the upper atmosphere to be sucked down into a low pressure zone, like a vacuum, causing that air to warm, and the cycle continues like a big snowball effect until, eventually, a cyclone forms. Hurricanes favor the warm climates of the equator, where it's warmest on our planet and where the sun has the most exposure to the surface throughout the year. Humidity also plays a key role, which the outer equator is rich of, in areas such as the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. They contain warm waters, perfect to provide the flame needed to ignite a tropical storm. As water continues to evaporate and condense in the colder upper atmosphere, a tropical storm begins to form. If the conditions are right, it'll feed off the warm waters around the equator until a tropical storm forms into a larger storm and eventually a hurricane, which will then get carried by natural wind currents onto land, where they can cause their devastation. But why do hurricanes rotate? Well, it's very simple. Hurricanes are large storms that span hundreds of kilometers, so they are affected by Coriolis force, the Earth's rotation. This is why hurricanes are so turbulent and have very strong winds, and it's also why hurricanes north of the equator spin counterclockwise, while hurricanes south of the equator spin clockwise. How powerful do hurricanes get? They get very powerful. They are one of the, if not the most devastating form of natural disaster that routinely occurs on our planet. They can range from wind speeds of 119 km an hour to 345 km an hour, or from 74 to 215 miles per hour, mixed with heavy rains that can cause water surges up to 8 meters. If you ever find yourself in the path of a hurricane in the future, take precaution. Stock up on plenty of water, test your generators to make sure they are fueled and not leaking. Make sure to cook and run generators outdoors with good air ventilation, as it's very harmful to breathe carbon monoxide gas that is emitted from them and can be fatal. If there is a mandatory evacuation, keep in mind, seek shelter, and remember that your life is more important than any physical possession. If you would like to contribute to those who were recently affected by the disasters of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, consider donating to the American Red Cross. They are a non-profit emergency response organization that helps people in need when disaster strikes. They provide refuge, food, equipment, and supplies to those in need. I will have a link to their website down in the description. Thanks for watching this video. These take me a while to make, and I'm hoping to make them the primary content of my channel. If you would like to support what I do, please click that subscribe button, and take a moment to share this video on social media. It would really help me out, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.